show right before the holiday. And I know Bumble has some great relationship experts because you are a relationship expert. So let's get started. You know, what are some yes, of the please. main dating trends that Bumble anticipates for 2023? In 2023, well, the trends that we're seeing going up is openness. People are more open to looking for love in unexpected places, which means that open casting, which is the opposite of typecasting, is the number one trend that they're seeing. So the lists are going bye-bye. And instead, people are like, okay, let me see who's out there and who is joyful for me to connect with. And the search for that joyful connection goes beyond your city lines. Wander love is a huge trend that's happening. After a summer of travel, a lot of people are open to long distance dating. And if you are too, definitely utilize that travel mode. I also love the trend that's happening of love life balance. People are essentially saying more time for me, more time for family. Life is not all about the grind and hustle and bustle. And not only do I feel that way, I also want a partner who also equally embraces the balance of life. And that's really beautiful because I think traditionally people may have felt that dating was all about what you do and how flashy your title is. And now it's about how meaningful your life is. All the trends I think are really, really positive. Another trend that we're seeing is more candidness about money, also more candidness about sexuality. People after the pandemic have started to explore their sexual self and have tried something new in the past couple of years. And now they want to talk about that and be honest. Sex is no longer a taboo topic. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say after that one, Sham. Uh, <laughs> how do you modify your dating profile? Um, you modify your dating profile by ensuring that it is a best in line with you right now. So for example, if you're not interested in talking about sex because it makes you a little flustered, then make sure that's clear on your profile that here's what I'm open to and here's what I'm not. It's a place to talk about your yeses, but also to put up your boundaries. Um, a great place, I think, to put your yeses loud, proud, and clear is through badges. Now, traditionally, we think of dating profiles as being all about the picture. That's definitely changing now. Now, Bumble also has badges, which is a way to put front and center what matters to you. And a great badge to use is intentions. What are you looking for and what are you hoping for when it comes to your experience with online dating? Also with badges, tell people what you're interested in. So if you love camping, if you like traveling, if you want to go to the gym because that's your New Year's resolution, put that out there on your badge and maybe you'll find an accountability partner or a love life partner. Dan, is dating uh, a little bit try it and if you don't like it, return it and let's move on? Because those are the stories I'm hearing a lot of. I definitely think that this is a year to get rid of the narrative that dating is bad or that online dating is bad. Because if you're a single person who participates in that, that's also a reflection of you. This is the year to be the change that you wish to see in the world. And so Bumble has this survey over 14 thousand people globally and have responded to this survey. So it really is a thorough snapshot of what's happening out there. And this is what people are saying. People are saying, I'm open. People are saying that work-life balance matters to me. People are saying that positivity and empathy really matter to me. So listen to that. Rather than leaning into some of the negative things that you might hear in life, open your heart to a new experience. And furthermore, put your time where your mouth is. If you want the online dating to be more interactive and more meaningful, um, try to be more meaningful in your interactions. And one new feature that Bumble has that allows you to do that is called compliments. And compliments are nice things that you can send to people before you even match with them. So I think you should go online and rather than just swiping through profiles, make it a vow to give at least five compliments out. Um, and some of those compliments, again, should be people that you don't even necessarily swipe with, just people that you want to make sure that you're encouraging and uplifting to them, just as you want people to be encouraging, uplifting, and honest with you. Okay. And your best advice for 2023 coming up so people can say on your mark, you're ready, let's go. Make it the year of you. Um, and you is exciting and multidimensional and open and ever-changing. And your profile should reflect that as well. So just approach it. I ask people who have felt hardened by the online dating experience to open up um, and again, to be the change they wish to see in the world. I think that they'll see much different results this year. Where can they 
get help. Everybody's not as as, as proficient as you did for talking about dating, Shan. So they may need a little bit more help. Where can they go online and get ready for this great dating experience in 2023? That is my favorite question because oftentimes people think that it's taboo to research online dating. You're supposed to just know everything and throw yourself in there. No, trends are happening. New features are happening. New waves are happening. And you want to be ahead of the curve. And to do that, go to Bumble.com, not just to download the app, but also to learn about the landscape. If you click on the editorial tab, you'll get this information that I've given and so much more. Ken Boudron, it's going to be a fun year. I'm going to be watching those dating trends because I get to talk to the people using those dating trends. Please come back to the Valder BB Show. We always enjoy having you. Thank you so much, and happy holidays to you and your family. Good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books. Books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.